competition and it promises to be a very wonderful period here the Amy Barrow Auditorium where we're having the primary school category of the Spelling Bee competition today. I'd like to quickly recognize and welcome the Director General of, of Education Quality Assurance in the Ministry of Education. Please can we put our hands together for Mrs. Abiola Seriki Ayeni. You're very welcome, ma. Thank you very much for being here. Also, we have already seated the representative of the chairman of LASUBE, that is Lagos State Universal Basic Education Board, LASUBE, and the chairman, Honorable Wahab Alawiye King, is represented by a permanent board member of LASUBE. Please can you put your hands together for Honorable Sherifat Abiodu Ajedoyi. Thank you very much, ma'am, for being here. Of course, we have our quiz master also seated here, um, year in, year out. He has always been there. And um, of course, a former permanent secretary in the Lagos State uh, Service. Please can you welcome with me, Mr. Otuzi Kuhn. Thank you very much for being here. We already have the timekeeper for the um, session of the spelling bee session and the quiz master or mistress uh, for this uh, session as well. So um, welcome, Anisha Lanko Soko, and of course, the timekeeper. Please don't put our hands together for them. But do you know that more importantly, the pupils who are going to be contesting to get that very, very wonderful prize end of the day are the reason for all of us being here. Please can we applaud very resoundingly all contestants in today's spelling bee competition, the primary school category. I think you should put your hands together for yourselves. Thank you. I recognize all our local government and local council development area representatives here present. I know that we have a lot of head teachers here as well, and uh, all the teachers that have come with the pupils to share them even to victory. We thank you all for being here. And we also recognize the presence of the directors in the Ministry of Education, its agencies, and parastatals. We welcome all of you here this morning. Of course, we that uh, we cannot go on without our sponsors. I'd like to recognize our very, very important sponsors. Today is Kellogg's Day. Please can you put your hands together for Kellogg's? Thank you very much for being here. Also, we have Rodocates, the educative device as produced by another of our sponsors. Please can you put your hands together for Robert and John, the military. The representative is here and I would like him to please come and sit on the top table, Mr. Ayodeji Adoku. Where are you, sir? Mr. Ayodeji Adoku, are you here? Please, could you join us up at the top table? Thank you very much for being here. We also have to celebrate Duffel Foods, makers of yummy yummy Indomie noodles. A meal is not complete without Indomie noodles. Can we put our hands together for Indomie noodles? Thank you very much. Please, can the representative of um, Duffel Foods join us as well on the top table? And of course, a snack that we all love. A meal on the go, rice, food, 
Um, can we put our hands together for the representative of Rights Food, another of our sponsors, as he comes up to also join us on the top table. Rights Foods, thank you very much for being here. Okay, at this point in time, we know that we are way behind schedule, but because we needed the children to settle down and um, do a dry run, get themselves in the spirit of this competition. Like, um, very shortly, the Queen's Master will let us have the ground rules. But before all of that, why are we gathered here today? Of course, we know it's for the Spelling Bee competition, the primary school category. But to formally welcome each and every one of us to today's event, I'd like to invite to the microphone the Director General Office of Education Quality Assurance in the Ministry of Education. Please can we all applaud Mrs. Abiola Seriki Ajeni. I cannot hear your applause. Please keep applauding, keep applauding. The Executive Chairman, Last Bed, Honorable Wahab Alawuye King. The Tutor General Permanent Secretaries, Education Districts 1 to 6. All the invited guests and dignitaries here present, most especially the representative of the founder, New Era Foundation, Her Excellency, former First Lady of Lagos State, Senator Olure Tinubu. The Spelling Bee competition introduced in 2001 by the New Era Foundation to encourage academic excellence has become the most interesting and keenly contested competition amongst the Lagos State public school students. The prestige and privileges that come with winning the Spelling Bee contest has no doubt being a great motivating factor. The competition so far has helped improve the spelling skills, oral and written English of pupils, students, and spectators alike. As I speak, many Nigerians, including parents, teachers, pupils, students, and many professionals, are sitting by the television set to watch the competition that has become a household name. Many have also have access online via the OEQA social media platform. The Lagos State Government, under the administration of His Excellency, Mr. Governor of Lagos State, Babajide Olushola Songolu, has kept faith with 
making the winner of the One Day Governor awarding scholarships to them to study any course of interest in any public university in Nigeria and sponsoring them and their cabinet members on a cultural exchange program to fund them, amongst many other benefits. This has continued to make the trophy the most sought after by a public school student. To this end, I commend all participants who have made this year's competition very exciting from the preliminary stages to this grand finale. Your Excellencies, my guests, I'm happy to report that this competition has a deepened learning and emboldened our students to compete, interact, and exchange views with their peers, both home and abroad. To the students, I implore you to continue to work hard and make the best use of this opportunity to discover inherent talents that will make your academic lives more meaningful, not just for yourselves, but also for your parents and teachers. The Lagos State Government has taken the lead in the provisions of infrastructure, which include blocks of classrooms and furniture in schools, all in a bid to ensure that students realize nurtured dreams and achieve greatness, irrespective of the circumstances or place of birth. The onus, therefore, is with you to effectively use these to your advantage. I wish all contestants good luck. I entreat you to imbibe the spirit of sportsmanship while encouraging parents to continue to support the Lagos State Government in its quest to achieve excellence in the education sector. See the competition as a value-adding contest Put on your very best and see yourselves all as winners. Have fun and enjoy the very best of time today. Thank you and God bless. Please can we applaud her? The Director General, Mrs. Abiola Seriki Ayeni. At this point in time, before we finally commence this competition, we will have a few words from the Chairman of um, Lassobeb, who is ably represented by the permanent board member. Honorable Well, she invites the representative of Lux here present, the National Marketing Manager, Mr. Igabali Dalente, to please join us on the high table. Mr. Dalente, please. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, beautiful children. Good morning, our lovely. Good to have you here. I'm here to represent my chairman, who is unavoidably absent today. Uh, he's currently uh, in Abuja on official uh, purpose. Let me stand on the already established uh, protocols by my darling sister, uh, the DJ of the Education Quality Assurance. Uh, we are here to learn. We are here knowledge in the lives of these four bills. They are future, they are our heritage. We need to put everything in place for them to excel in life. 
And I want to assure you, as we already know, that Lagos State, the center of excellence, and the person of our amiable governor, Mr. Papaji de Lushola has put everything in place to make sure this beautiful heritage of the Most High come excellently well in life and so shall it be in Jesus' name. We are here for the competition which we have been doing before and which we will do here again. I want you to learn from one another. I want you to take advantage of every question being uh, asked and being provided answers to today. It will help you in the future. It will help you in your performances in classrooms and to help you to become somebody, an important person in life. I don't need to bore you much, but good cultural advantages into their lives. When we look at them, we look at them to be somebody that we desire to become. We look at them that we don't want any of them to We look at them that we don't want them to join the already hoodlums that we know on the street. And that is why our governor has started a program that we the, the problem of out of school children. We are our darling governor at provision for everything in selling. So, we are writing material. We believe that some parents are passing through a lot due to the effect, due to the effect of pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic. Some families, their house got burnt, their properties got burnt. Yes, their children. We have provision for all the if you know in, in your community that is out of school due to all these factors we mentioned, please contact the boss today. Mr. Governor has already made provision for them. Thank you very much. Last event, leave no child behind. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Sharif Bhatt. Thank you, ma'am. We will be taking good remarks from the representative of Kellogg's Tolerant Nigeria Limited. The National Marketing Manager is here. Please can you put your hands together for Mr. Idabalu Jalansi as he comes forward to give us good remarks from Tolerant, not Good morning, everybody. I'm standing on the existing protocol. I, I really want to appreciate everybody here, especially our superstar kids. You know, it's not easy seeing these young ones sitting down here. They must have come through a long process and they are representing their school. And we from Kellogg's, like you know, we always preach breakfast time is Kellogg's time. And if you give your kids the right breakfast, you help them start their the right kids. A lot of them know they are our superstar and Kellogg's is here to support you and appreciate you and wish you all the best. One thing you should know, you must always ask your mommy to give you the right breakfast, which is what? Tell us when your products. Thank you everybody for the time and I wish you all the best in your exercise. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Dalente. And uh, also would like to invite 
the representative of the Chief Executive Officer of Robert and John Limited, producers of Road to Kings. Please put your hands together for Mr. Ayodechi Adiku for his good remarks. Thank you everybody for this time. Uh, I'm from Robert and John Light, like I said, and we're the makers of Road to Kings. So we're passionate about developing humanity, we're passionate about our kids being able to compete with the rest of the world. And that's why we have Reducate, which is one of the best performing educational products around. We've got a comprehensive content that every kid can access and become the best anywhere they find themselves. And we are very happy to partner with this kind of initiative. And we look forward to more partnerships like this because we want to get our kids to, be, to, to change narrative that Nigeria represents in other parts of the world. So thank you once again. And we are appreciative of this time. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. Luku. Okay, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, our parents, teachers, friends, and well wishers, before I hand over the microphone to the Queen's Master. Please, can we put our hands together for those wonderful pupils who very shortly are going into the competition. I cannot hear your applause. Please encourage them the more. Encourage the champions the more. Over now to the police master, Adesola Kusofo. Thank you very much, Sola. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me formally welcome you to the Spelling Bee competition for the primary category. Now we have rules. The rules are here. Every child has 15 seconds to spell the word. You have 15 seconds to spell the word. Now, you can ask me for the origin. You can ask me for the meaning of the word. You have the right to do that. Is that okay? Then don't forget, um, when you get to the microphone, adjust the microphone to your level and spell the word. Um, to the audience, I would like to appeal to us. The kids need all the pride. They need all the attention as well. Please, we would not appreciate it or would not like it if you try to spell the words for them. Okay, I'm the referee, so I can actually, you know, use the hammer. For any child, close to the microphone, ready to spell, and there is a moment from the crowd, you put that child at the risk of being disqualified. Please, we have already taken them through the process and we have gotten to this stage. Allow them. Sometimes when you try to agree, they forget and they miss it. So just allow them to spell the words the way we understand it. Ladies and gentlemen, please let's encourage these children by putting our hands together for them. Are we ready? Are you set? You're set? All right, let's go. Number one. Spell the word saucepan. S-A-U-C-P-A-N, saucepan. Correct. Number two. Take your time. 
calm down. G U D E V E. Not correct. I'm sorry. Not correct. Can we put our hands together for him? Number two, you have to step down. We'll take a seat. Now that's also part of the rule. You miss your chance. You go and sit with the crowd. Is that okay? Number three, please spell the word Jufe. Correct. Masquerade. You're missing a letter. M A S Q U R E D. Not correct. Thank you very much. Next. Number eight. Spell the word masquerade. Masquerade. M A S Q U E R A D E. Correct. Number nine. The word is stitch. Stitch is. Um, S T I C H. Again. S T I C H. Stitch. A short of, of thread that has been sewn into a piece of cloth. It's German and it's also English. Stitch, like a stitch in time. So stitch. S S T I C H. No, not correct. S T I C H. Thank you, not correct. So next. The word is stitch. S T. S T I T C A. Correct. Number 11. The word is embassy. E M B A C U X Y. C 
calm down. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing sounds from the crowd. Please. The word is embassy. E M B A S S Y. Correct. Now, kids, let me tell you something. Mm? When you have a word to spell, when you get to the microphone, if you see lips moving, don't look at them. Do you understand me? Because you can get confused. Mm? Trying to read their lips, you can miss it. You already know the words. I have confidence in you. Do you have confidence in yourself? You do, so you don't need people in the crowd to tell you what to do, right? Let's put our hands together for ourselves. Next. The word is kidnapper. K-I-D-N-A-P-P-E-R. Correct. Thirteen. The word is badger. Ma, please. Is a Latin word for an animal uh, which has black and white fur. Origin. Leaves and holes on the ground. It's Latin. Most times it's called a honey badger. Badger. Yes. B A D G E R badger. Correct. Fourteen. The word is wrinkle. Is an English word. The lines on faces and skin that you get when you're old. Wrinkle. A U I N C L E. Wrinkle. Hold on, hold on. Spell it again. A U I N K L E. Wrinkle. Not correct. Wrinkle. Wrinkle. A U I C L E Rico. Not correct, thank you. Next. Fifteen, the word is wrinkle. Wrinkle. R I N C K L E. Not correct. Wrinkle. R I N K L E. Not correct. R I N C L E. Not correct. Thank you very much. 17. Let's see if you will get the word wrinkle. W R I N C L K E. Wrinkle. Not correct. W R I N K L. Go on. W R I N K L E. Correct. <laughs> Next, eighteen. The word is Twitter. Ma, pronounce the word again. Twitter. Twitter. T W I T T E R. Twitter. Correct. Nineteen. Spell the word excursion. E x c u r s i o n. Correct. Next. Spell the word cartoon. Cartoon. Yes. C a r t o o n. Correct. Next. Spell the word tantrum. Tantrum. Ma. Is a German word. It means an unco uncontrolled outburst of anger and frustration. It typically in a young child. Tantrum. Tant you. Tantrum. C A N T R U M. Correct. Next. Spell the word weasel. W H I S T L E. Correct. Twenty-two. 
23. The word is underneath. Underneath. Listen. Underneath is an old English word means below the surface or below the level. Underneath. U S D I L E N S E. Not correct. Underneath. U N D I L I N S E. Not correct. U N D I L C. -E hold on. Hold it. Hold it. Just calm down. Hmm? Calm down. I know you have 15 seconds, but calm down. Listen very carefully, okay? Underneath. Mm -hmm. below, be, uh, below a surface is an old English word. Let me, let me pronounce it again. Underneath. U N D E L I N C E. Not correct. Thank you very much. Next. 24. Underneath. U N D E R N I E S. Not correct. Underneath. U N D E R N I S. Not correct. Time up, 25. Thank you very much. 25. You want the word again? Underneath. U N D E R L I S T. Not correct. U N D E R L I S. Not correct. U N D E R L I S T. D E R L I S T E. Not correct. Thank you very much. <laughs> On the knees. Let me throw it to the to the audience. Uh, I know our, our parents. No children in the in the crowd. All right, the young man. Can you spot? There's a microphone close to you. Okay, you can come up. You can come up quickly. On the knees. U N D E R K N double E S. Not correct. Thank you. One more, and then I give you the. No, you you are not. No, you're not. The young man in the brown uniform. Quickly, please. U N D E R N E A T H. Correct. I'm sure there will be prizes for audience participation, so that young man will be going home with something. All right, next. 26. The word is pamphlet. Again? Pamphlet. It's a Greek word. It's also Latin. It's an unbound book or printing, a publication with no cover. Pardon. What did you say? Pardon. Please repeat yourself, ma'am. Pamphlet. Pamphlet. Yes. P A N F F L E C T. Not correct. It's it's Greek, and it's also Latin. Pamphlet. Yes. P H A N F L E C T. Not correct. P A N F L E C T. Not correct. Thank you very much. Next. Pamphlet. E A M F A. No, P A M L E T. Not correct. P A M L E T H. Not correct. Thank you very much. One last try. Next. Twenty-eight. Pamphlet. P A M F L E C T. Not correct. P A M L E T. Not correct. P A L F L E C. Not correct. Thank you very much. Let's throw it to the crowd. 
So let's throw it to the crowd. Pamphlets. Anybody? Anybody? Okay, the young man in the blue uniform. Quickly, please. B P H A B L E T. Not correct, thank you. Someone else? Not from you here. Okay, the lady in the um, green uniform. Quickly. P O U N D F L E T. No, 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 no. One last try. Where's the young girl that wanted to come out? Okay, do that quickly. Quickly. C O R N F L A S T. Thank you. Not correct. P A N L E T. Not correct. Thank you very much. That's, That's on the, the spelling. Complex is P A M P H L E T. Thank you very much. Next. 29, yes. Spell the word racket. R-A-C-K-E-T. Again. R-A-C-K-E-T. Correct. 30. The word is millennial. Like, like in millennium. Millennium. M-I-L. L-E-N-I-U-M. I didn't say millennium. Millennial is Latin. M-I-L-L-E-N-I-U-M. Not correct. Not correct. Meaning? Is a Latin word. It means a generation name for those born in the mid, say, 1980, and those coming up of age around the year 2000. Millennial. The word again, millennial. M I L L E N U M. Not correct. Not millennium. I didn't say millennium. So 31. Word again. Millennial. As a millennium. Millennial. M E L. M E. L I N I U M. Not correct. Nope. M I L E N I U M. Not correct. M E N I. Thank you very much. Next. We've been talking about millennium for a while. So this time, the word is millennial. What did you say? Yes. M-I-L-L-I-E-N-N-I-A-L. Millennial. You didn't get it. You're close, but you didn't get it. Try it again. Is millennial. You know the word millennium. Millennial. Nial. M I L L I E N N. Not correct. What number are you? 32. Um, I'm not going to give it to someone else. You almost got it, but I have to correct you. Do you understand? It's M-I-L-L-E, not I-E. It was an I that you added that made you miss it, okay? Can we put our hands together for her? So, Minilial is M-I-L-L-E-N-N-I-A-L. Are we good? Is clear? Next. 33, the word is scarcity. 
Ska City. S C A C T Y. No, listen again. Ska City is an old French word. It means insufficiency or short, short, shortness, you know, in supply. Ska, listen. Ska City. Not correct, thank you. Next. The word is scarcity. Scarcity. S-C-A-S-T-I-F-Y. Not correct. S-C-A. S-I-T-Y. Not correct. Thank you. Next. 35. Scarcity. S-C-A-C-I-T-Y. Not, not correct. Scarcity. S-C-A. C E T Y. Not correct. Scottish. S C A. Hello. T I. Hello? Look at me. Scarcity. Now you can face the microphone and spell the word. S C A S I T Y. Not correct. Thank you very much. 36. Thirty-six. Scarcity. S C A C I T Y. Not correct. S K A C I T Y. Not correct. S C A C C I T. Not correct, not correct, not correct. Thank you very much. All right, let's throw it to the crowd. The young man in the red uniform. Quickly, please. The word is scarcity. S-C-A-L-T-I-Y. Not correct. Did you hear the word scarcity? S C A L T C. Not correct. Thank you very much. Let's try children from this end. Do we have them here? The young girl in the gray uniform. Scarcity. S C A R C I T Y. Correct. The next contestant, please. The word is auspicious. Yes, please. It's a, it's a Latin word. That means promising. O C O C P I C I O U S. Not correct. Auspicious. Not correct. Auspicious. O C P I C I O U S. Not correct. Not correct. Time up. Thirty-eight. U S U S S S P I C I U U S S. S P I C I O U S. Not correct. O U S P S P I C I O U S. Not correct. Suspicious. Next. Head O S P I C. I O U S, auspicious.
Jesus. Not correct. Listen, it's a Latin word. Auspicious. Yes, it's a Latin word. H O S P I S I O U S. Auspicious. Not correct. Thank you. 40. Number 40. Auspicious. Oh, you are S P E. E S O U S. Not correct. Forty-one. All right. A U S P I C I O U S. Correct. Forty-two. The word is adventure. A D V I S E S E. Listen, adventure is a French is an old French word. It means an exciting experience in which dangerous or unusual things happen. An adventure. A N D V E N T I O N. Not correct. Not correct. A D V E N T I O N. Not correct. Time up next. Do you want the word again? Yes. Do you want the word again? Yes. Adventure. A D V E N T U R E. Correct. 44. The word is journalist. J U N A L I S T. Not correct. Journalist is actually an old French word for someone who writes news, reports for newspapers, magazines, you know, television or radio. Journalist. J U R O N A L I S T. Not correct. Thank you very much. Next. 45. The word is still journalist. J O U R N L I S T. Not correct. Calm down. The word is still journalist. J O U R N L I S T. Journalist. J H O N L I S T. Not correct. Thank you very much. Next. The word is journalist. Journalist. J O U R N A L I S T. Correct. Four to seven. The word is benign. It's a Latin word. It means gentle and kind. Benign. Yes, benign. B E N I N E. Not correct. Benign. B E N I N Y. Not correct. B I N I N Y. Not correct. Benign. Benign, yes. The meaning, it means to be gentle. Kind is a Latin word. Yes, benign. B E N I Y. Not correct. B Thank you. Next. Benign. B E N I E D. Not correct. B I N I E D. Not correct. B -E N-E-I-D. Not correct. Benign is a Latin word. 
Me. Be nine. Me. Meaning, it means to be gentle and kind. B-Y-N-I-E-D. Thank you very much. Next, one last try, the four, the three, to the proud. 49. The word, be nine. B E N I N. Thank you very much. 50. N-I-G-A. Correct. 51. The word is emphasize. Emphasize, yes, emphasize. Don't touch the microphone. All right. Go ahead. What did you say? Speak into the microphone so I can hear you. The word. Emphasize. Is a Greek word that means to say something in a strong way, you know, repeat something in a strong way, emphasize. E F U S S C I E. Not correct. Fifty-two. The word is emphasize. E M P H. E R S I Z E. Not correct. Listen to me very well. Emphasize. E M P H E R S I. Not correct. Thank you. Fifty-three. The word is emphasize. Emphasize. E E A V I S I Z E. Not correct. Not correct. Thank you. That's the last number. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please, that's the end of the first round. Can we put our hands together for these children? All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the second round. And um, the rules remain the same, okay? So please calm down. You have skilled the first model. And I wish you the very best. Hmm? So the first number is number five, right? Number number one. Okay, the um, word is acquaintance. Hey. It means someone you know, but who is not a close friend. It's a French word, acquaintance. The word again, please. Acquaintance. Yes. A-C-Q-U-I-N-T-A-S-E. Again. S-C-Q-U-I-N-T-A-N-C-E. Not correct. Acquaintance. The word is acquaintance. acquaintance. Yes, it's a French word. S-C-Q-U-A-T-A-N-C-E. Not correct, thank you. Number five. Number five. No, number five is next. You're number six. Acquaintance. Don't touch the microphone. Okay. S Q U I T A S E. Not correct. S Q U I N T A N C E. Not correct. A Q S E S Q U I N T S E Q U I T A S E. Not correct. Thank you very much. Number six, try that. Acquaintance. A C Q U A I T A N C E. Acquaintance. Not correct. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just calm down. Just 
Just calm down. Please, they were the acquaintance. A-C-Q-U-I-N-T-A-N-C-E. Acquaintance. Not correct. You're missing a word. A C Q U A I N T A N C E. Correct. 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 Are you seven? Okay, so number eight is next. The word is dysentery. Dysentery. Yes, it's a Greek word. D Y. C E S E N T E R Y dysentery. Spell it again. D spell it, just spell it again. Dysentery. D Y S E N T E R Y. Correct. Number 10. The word is harmonium. Harmonium. It's a Greek word. It's a Greek word. It means a musical instrument with a keyboard and, and metal pipes, like a small organ, harmonium. Harmonium. A. Is Greek. H A. Go on. H A M O N I U M. Not correct. You're missing a letter. Harmonium. H A R M O N I U M. Correct. The word is mermaid. M E R M A I D. Correct. Number 12. The word is pottery. Pottery. Objects make out of a baked clay, an old French word, pottery. P O U L T E R Y. I didn't say poultry. I said pottery. Pottery is a French word. It means when you make um, something you make out of a baked clay. Pottery. P U R C H E R Y. Not correct. P U R P U C H E R Y. Not correct. P U R Pottery. Pottery. Not poultry. I didn't say poultry. I said pottery. U C H E R Y. Not correct. Thank you very much. The team. Pottery. 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 P O T T E R Y. Correct. Next. The word is fraudulent. F R F R. L E N T. Again. F R A U D U L E N T. Correct. 17. The word is lottery. L O T T E R Y. Correct. All right, number 18. Okay, the word is tapolin. Tapolin. Yes, it's an English word for a waterproof canvas, tarpaulin. T-A-B-O-U-R-I-N-E, tarpaulin. Listen, I didn't say tarpaulin. I said tarpaulin. T-A-B-O-U-R-L-I-N-E, tarpaulin. Not correct, not correct. T-A-R... Calm down. Calm down. Hmm? Just calm down. Now calm down, all right? The word, I'm going to give, it, give you time. It's called, the word is tapolin. It's an English word. Meaning, it means a waterproof canvas. Ta, the word Ta, is? Tapolin. Don't touch the microphone. Go on. All right, go ahead. Tabolin. Tabolin. Yes. T-A-B-O. 
L T A B O U L E I N Tabolin. Not correct. Thank you very much. Next. Next. The word is Tapolin. T A R P O L I N. Not correct. T A R P O L I N E. Not correct. T O T A P O L I N E. Not correct. T A P O L I N. Not correct. Thank you. Next. Tapolin. T A P O U L I N E. Not correct. T A P O U L I N E. Not correct. T A U P O U L I N E. Not correct. T A P O U L I N E. Not correct. Thank you. Next. Don't touch the microphone. T A R P A U L I N. Correct. Next. The word is roughage. Roughage. Old English word. Listen, let me give you the meaning. It means a substance contained in some vegetables or fruits and grains that helps your bowels to work. Roughage. R O G H A G E. Not correct. You're missing a letter. R O U G H A G E. Correct. Next. The word is colleague. It's a Latin word for a person with whom one works in the profession or business. A colleague. 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 C A L L I N K. Not correct. C A L L I N K. Not correct. C A L L I N K. Thank you. Next. Who's next? What you want? C O L E A G U E. Colleague. Not correct. You're missing a letter. C O R L E A G. Listen. Colleague. Colleague. The meaning a person with whom you work. In a profession or business. Colleague. C O L L E A G U E. Correct. <laughs> Next. The word is zealous. Zealous. Zealous is a Latin word for a hearty or persistent effort. Meaning. Zealous. Meaning. That's the meaning. Enthusiasm, hearty, persistent effort. And it's a Latin word, zealous. What did you say? Z-E-L-I-O-U-S. Spell it again. I can't hear you. Z-E-L-I-O-U-S. Not correct. Spell it again. Z-E-L-I-O-U-S. Not correct. Thank you. Next, 46. Zelios. The origin is Latin. I should pronounce it again. Zelios. Z E A L I O U S. Zelios. Not correct. Z E A L I O T. Zelios. Not correct. Z E A L O T. Zelios. Not correct. Zelios. Z E A L O T S. Not correct. Z E A L I O T S. Not correct. Thank you very much. Not correct. Thank you very much. Can we put our hands together for them? Thank you. Who's next? Zelios.
Z E A L O U S. Correct. And I think that's the last number. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please can we put our hands together for these children? They have crossed the first and second hurdle and gradually, gradually we're thinning down the, um, the least. The word is pneumonia. Pneumonia. P H E N E O M I A. Pneumonia. Not correct. Listen, it's a Greek word. It means a serious illness that affects your lungs and makes it difficult or for you to breathe. Pneumonia. Pronounce it again. What did you say? Pronounce it again. Pneumonia. Pneumonia is Greek. Yes. P H E U pneumonia. M O N I A pneumonia. Again. Please pronounce it again. Pneumonia. Monia. And it's Greek. Yes. Pneumonia. Pneumonia. The meaning is a serious illness, you know, the one that affects your lungs and you find it very difficult to breathe. Pneumonia. P H E U M P H E Not correct. Thank you very much. Number 8. Number 8. The word is still pneumonia. Pneumonia. Yes. P N E U M O N I A. Correct. <laughs> Next. The word is gazette. Gazette. Yes. Is he is a French word. Is a journal or newspaper, especially the official one for an organization or institution. Gazette. G A Z Z E T. Not correct. No. G A Z E T. Not, Not correct. Gazette. Go ahead. Try again. Gazette. Yes. Is a French word. Is also an Italian word. G A Z. G-A-Z-E-R-T. Not correct. Thank you. Not correct. Next. The word is gazette. G-E-Z-E-T. Not correct. G-E-Z-E-I-T. Not correct. G A. Next. Gazette. Gazette. G A Z Z E R D. Gazette. No. Do, should I pronounce it again? Yeah, when I'm pronouncing it this time, I want you to read my lips. Gazette. So there's no, I didn't say, I didn't use the D at the end. It's just gazette. G-A-Z-Z-I-E-T. Not correct. G-A-Z-Z-E-I-T. Not correct. G-A-Z-Z-E-R-T. Not correct. Thank you very much. Next. The word is still gazette. G A Z Z E T E. Not correct. correct. G A Z E A T E. Again. G A Z E A T E. Not correct. G A Z Z E A T. Not correct. 
Thank you. Somebody from the crowd. I can only see one hand up, okay? Come forward quickly and spell the word gazette. G-A-Z-E-T-T-E. -E. Correct. Next. The word is beehive. B-E-H-A-V-E. -E. Listen. Beehive. Let me give you the meaning and the origin. It's an old English word. Now, it's a natural habitation for bees. Beehive. B-E-E-I-A-B-E-E-H-I-V-E. -E -E -E. Correct! Next. The word is a cake. The word hold, again. Hold on. I'll do this for you. I'll do this for everyone now. When I give you the word, I'll give you the origin, I'll give you the meaning, and then you spell. Is that okay? So you need to listen. The word is a cake. A cake is a Greek word, and it means very old or old-fashioned. No longer in everyday use, but sometimes used to impact an old-fashioned flavor. A cake. H-A-C-K-A-K-E. Is Greek. Greek word. A cake. A cake. H-A-C-K-I-K-E. Not correct. H-A-C-K-E. Not correct. A cake. Yes, please. A cake. S-C-H-I... S-C-H-I-K-E. Not correct. Next. A cake. A R C A I Q U E. Not correct. A C A I Q U E. Not correct. A C A I Q. Not correct. A C A C. Not correct. Okay, let's go. A R C H A I C. -I Correct. Correct. This way. All right. The word is melancholy. M E L A N C H O L Y. Correct. All right. You are the finalists, ladies and gentlemen. Can we put our hands together for them? Now, this is where it gets tough. Do you understand me? We're going to pick our first, our second, and our third position from you. So you are the finalists. So I'm wishing you all the best. I will give you the words again. I will give you the origin. And I will give you the meaning. All right? Are we good to go? So, number eight, I don't like the way you're breathing. Calm down. Please, let's take a quick break so that they can refresh, and then they'll be back again. Can we put our hands together for them? <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this is the final round. And here, we will pick our first, second, and third position. Are you ready? Now, if you, if you miss your question, hmm, you stay here. Go to the left. If you get it, you come back to your seat here. Is that okay? Number eight, are you okay? Are you sure? Are you ready? Go to the microphone. Can I please implore the crowd, whether we like it or not, 
They are the champions. Yes, so that because they're the final four. So every time they come forward to the microphone, can we just do a little favor by encouraging them with a round of applause? Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, number eight. The word is shofar. It is a French word. A person employed to drive a car as a chauffeur. Chauffeur. C H A U F F E U R. Correct. The word is paparazzo. It is an Italian word. It means a journalist or photographer who follows famous people around in order to get interesting stories or pictures. Paparazzo. Yeah, go ahead. Speak to the microphone again. Go ahead. P-A-R-P-R-A-Z-O. Not correct. Listen to me. Pa-pa-ra-zo. P-A-R-P-A-R-P-A. P A R P A R Z O O. Not correct. This way, 41. The word is paparazzo. P A P A P A P A R A Z O. Do it again. And this time around, I want to hear the letters clearly. Again. P A. P A R R A Z O. P A P A R A Z O. P A P A R A Z Z O. Correct. <laughs> the word is frankincense. Is an um, old French word, an aromatic gum uh, obtained from an African tree. Is a gum raisin? F -R frankincense. F R A N K I N C E N C E. Again. F R A N K E N C E N C E. Mm, hold, hold it, hold it. One by one, slowly. It, listen, listen, listen. This time around, I'm not giving you 15 seconds. I can give you extra, all right? All of you. F-R-A-N-K-I-N-C-E-N-C-E. -E. Not correct. Again. F-R-A-N-K-E-N-C-E-N-C-E. -E -E. Not correct. F-R-A-N-K-I-N-C-E-N-S-E. -E. Again, I can't hear you. I need, l listen to me. I need to hear you, okay? So give me the alphabet one, don't be in a rush. Again. F R A N K I N C E N S E. Correct. <laughs> All right, so you guys are going again. That means, young lady, that means you're out of the competition. Can we put our hands together for her? <laughs> now, the next word I give you, whoever misses, okay? All right? All right, number eight. The word is bureaucracy. Is a French word. It means a system of government in which most decisions are taken by state officials rather than by elective representatives. Bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. Yes. B U R O C R 
A C Y bureaucracy. Not, not correct. It's French bureaucracy. B U R E A U C R A C Y. Bureaucracy. Correct. Next. The word is maquis. It's French. It's also English. It means a large tent at a door event or a large party, specially used for eating and drinking. Maquis. M A R C K E Y. Maquis. Not correct. M A K E Y. Not correct. M A R K Y. M A R C K Y. Not correct. M A C K Y. M A K Y. M A K K Y. Not correct. Not correct. The word is still Maki. M A R Q U E E. Again. M A R Q U E E. Correct. Now, what it means is number 41, you are the third position. So let's find out the first and second here. So the next competition is between number 8 and number 50. All right? All right, so number 41, Hamilton Kingsley from George UNA Primary School, Nipaja, right? Good. That's, you're the third position. So let's, are you ready? Let's go. Number eight to the microphone. The word is hamatan. Is, um, it means a very dry, dusty um, air, you know, on the West African coast occurring mostly during December to February. Hamatan. Hamatan. Yes. H A R. M A T T A N. Correct. <laughs> Number 50. The word is symmetrical. Symmetrical. It means it's a Greek and Latin word. A state of having parts that correspond in size, shapes, and position. C E M E N T R I C A L. It's a Greek word. Symmetrical. It's Greek. S E M E N C R I C A L. Not correct. Symmetrical. S Y M E N C R I C A L. Again. S Y M E N C R I C A L. Not correct. Not correct. C I M E N T R I C A L. Not correct. S I M E N T R I C A L. Not correct. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? Number 41, Hamilton Kingsley. Third position. Can we put our hands together for him? Number 50, Oyase Oluatsu Minino from Oreo Fenosian Primary School, AB. Second position. Can we put our hands together for him? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the winner of the Spelling Bee Competition. Blessed for Zigo. Number one and nothing less. Lead me to my destiny. I have waited patiently. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please can we put our hands together for Blessed Osigo from Marywood Nazarene Primary School, Ebute Meta. She is the winner of the year 2020 Spelling Bee Competition Primary School category. Can we have it up for the champion? And second position, Oyase Oluwatu Minino. Please, could you come and stay to her left? 
and um, third petition, Kingsley Hamilton from St. George UNA Primary School, Ikbaja. A round of applause for those three wonderful people. Thank you very much. Please put your hands together. Thank you. The other three, please, could you come up? Ol Ajifo Woke Celestina. Please put your hands together for this wonderful little girl. She tried. Please, can we applaud them? If I ask you, mommies and daddies, to come and spell, you won't. Applaud the three of them. Come and congratulate your, your colleagues. Come and congratulate them. They are winners as well. Come and give them a hug. They try. Okay, there you see all the winners. Congratulations. I can hear your applause. Okay, you can take your seats now. Before we go ahead, I'd like to invite the DG of the Office of Quality Assurance to please come up to give us her remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a round of applause for our awesome children? These children are all winners. They are all winners. Yes, there's an overall winner. There's first runner up, second runner up, but they are all winners. Head up. I want you children to know that sometimes this is how life is. Sometimes you try and you don't make it, but you can try for another day. And as a result, you're all winners. Another round of applause for our children. Winning, winning today is not just about this stage. Winning is about practicing every single day. Winning is about trying, knowing that you may fail. That is winning. And that is the type of children that we need to be raising for tomorrow. A last round of applause for our children. On behalf of Lagos State Government, Ministry of Education, Office of Education Quality Assurance, I want to thank you all for coming here today and watching the real talents that Lagos State is made of. Our children came, they practiced, and they put themselves out there. They are confident children, and I have no doubt in my mind that there are greater things ahead for all of them. A last round of applause. Thank you so much, and God bless you all. Please, I'd like to invite the representative of the chairman of SUBEP to please come up. Also, um, representative of Royal Case. Please, can you come up? The first prize I will be giving out to so the three. Please, can the three come up? Blessing. Ajipo, okay, come and sit down. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, please, uh, Ron Kate, can we present the prizes to the three of them? That's, um, oh, yes, uh, the second position, and uh, Hamilton King's lead, the third position, is on the other side. We also go home with a telephone, Kirk Sir Ron Kate. Mr. Adeboye, please could you step back a bit? Thank you. And the first position, Blessing Osibo. You also have a telephone. Blessing has a telephone. Kellogg has a presentation as well. Thank you very much, Mr. Um, the representative of Regional John. Thank you. Thank you. For the third, uh, second position, Oyase Uwatu Mininu. 
Hamilton in Kingsley. Okay. Hamilton in Kingsley. And Blessing Osiku. Congratulations. Now it's time for them to get the quality officer of education quality assurance. Okay, for them as well. I said, Ulua Chimini who has this. And of uh, course, Kingsley. And Blessing uh, Osiko.
ghost. It's just like that's how it is.